Now, the next king we're going to look at is King John. King John was king from 1199 to 1216. So he was king for round about 17 years. Now, some people have some very good things to say about King John. And other people have some really bad things to say about King John. Now, I have to say, King John is often remembered in history as a bad king. But some people think he was really good. Jim Bradbury is a historian. That's someone who studies the past. And he says, King John, well... He was a really hard-working king who tried really hard to keep England, his country, strong. So he was really strong, organised and determined was King John. But some people say he wasn't a very good king. Now, King John was an English king, but back when he was king, at this time here... England owned a little bit of France. So if we look here at this picture here, Bradford is round about here, and this is England. The whole thing is England. But back then, kings owned a little bit of France down here. France. And they owned a bit of Normandy. where You can see where it says Normandy. My pointer can't quite get that low, but it says Normandy. And English kings used to own that as well. Except King John, he managed to lose it over to the French. So he didn't manage to keep that. He lost a lot of land. Now to win it back, he thinks, Ooh, I know what I'll do. I'll have a big war against France. Unfortunately, wars tend to cost a lot of money. So he had to re ask barons, that's this word here, they're rich people who own lots of land in England, he had to say, give me lots of your money so I can fight this war. And give me lots of your men so you can go and fight. Well, actually, they got quite annoyed with John for doing this. And John doesn't just ask once. Oh, no, he asks again and again and again. And they get really annoyed, these rich and powerful men. And they say, right, John, we're going to have a bit of a fight against you. And they win. And they make John sign a piece of paper which is called Magna Carta. And that says John can't do these nasty things to the barons anymore. So, overall, John loses lots of land in France. He starts a useless war that costs lots of money, that makes lots of people very angry. And he loses power. He loses lots of his power. So he loses a war, and he loses his power to ask people to give him whatever money he want. He wants. Well, for that reason, some people think John isn't a good king. But at least some people think he was pretty organised and a pretty good king because he was organised. So there's different, different people think different things about him. And that is King John. Now, if anything there confused you a little bit, watch the video one more time and see if you can master it.